and welcome to Running in Heels. I have some exciting news. Exciting! I am releasing my website today. Woo! www.rebranded.com. Re as in R-I-H, which is Running in Heels. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about work and personal life. Two things that are so hard to separate. I have a lot of experience in this department and I've decided to talk on three different points. Even though these three points help, no matter what, once you're working with a friend or you're working with a significant other, it is still gonna get sticky because it's very difficult to stick to these things. So we're gonna start with time management and priorities. I have found it really difficult in the past and even still currently to be able to prioritize what I have to do. I'm just like, oh my god, I have like XYZ to do and I need to do it all now. You want to keep your working hours allocated for work. You want to set goals. Monday you decide, okay, throughout this week I'm going to do these three things or these five things. Monday I'm going to do this, Tuesday I'm going to do this, and that's how it goes. Set a goal per day. Once you meet that goal, stop. If you do work at home, you're going to also need to set a certain time. Make sure that you are, again, yes, setting your hours, but also that you have a specific space. Don't do your work all over the place because then that becomes more of a habit. You're just working everywhere, anywhere. And then you just, again, don't stop. There's no allocated time. There's no allocated space. It's just like work whenever, however, you become this workaholic. There are like a few different apps that you can download that help you to prioritize. There's something called Wonder List. If it's reminders or if it's things that I need to get done, there's different folders and I just place whatever I need to get done in each specific folder. Who can memorize anything these days? There's so many things to remember. My brain is like a goldfish. I cannot remember anything. Sometimes I can remember things, but very unlikely. Okay, moving on to boundaries and respect. When you're working with your significant other or your friend, it's gonna be very difficult to be able to give them that ongoing respect. It's just like you get so comfortable, you're already so comfortable with them. You want to remember to be polite and acknowledge the other person as if they were somebody else in the office or somebody you didn't really know that you're working with. You keep your individuality. As in traveling to work and from work separately, separate offices, separate is the key word here <laughs> because alone time is necessary. Anyone being around each other for 24 hours a day is just going to drive you insane. The boundaries and the respect kind of like get thrown out the window because it's like, oh, well, I know you so well. I'm going to tell you what I really think. It never goes well. <laughs> Agree to disagree and keep it separate. Unless you're some magical unicorn that can just differentiate and be cool brizo no matter what. Cool. Hmm. That slides into productivity. All of these things, right, keep you back from being productive whether it's productive at home, whether it's productive at work. The whole point of productivity is that you are accomplishing something. If it is that you are able to accomplish everything you need to do within a day and still have conversations about snow cones and where you should take grandma for dinner next week, what color you look best in. If you can do all of those things, I commend you. I really, really commend you because it all comes back to one another. I mean, it's very interesting to say the least. You think you figure out a system and sometimes you have to backtrack. Sometimes you're like, okay, this was working, but this isn't working anymore. Let's try and change something. It's something that evolves. It continues to evolve as your business grows, as your relationship grows. So there are different things and different dynamics that come into play. But so long as you are managing your time, prioritizing, keeping your boundaries, being respectful, and being productive, I find that working together with a friend or a significant other is not an issue. There is one last thing, trust. The biggest challenge when working together with either a significant other or a friend is listening, communicating, trusting. As I said before, teamwork makes the dream work. So can we come back to running in heels for a second? Do you guys like it? It's a pun. Like rebranded, RIH branded. I'm really excited to hear all of your ideas and to work with you to create something that you always wanted to. Whether it is that you're rebranding or you're starting from scratch. I just want everybody to be little entrepreneurs going around spreading their wings. You know, 
know, doing the things that you've always wanted to do. I want to help you create your something. And it's so fun for me. I love doing that. It's like my favorite part of starting a business. I'm addicted to startup. I'm addicted to creating something, bringing the overall vision to life. Anyway, um, subscribe.